Talent. What is talent? Something you practice really hard for? Something you're born with? Well, today, guys, I have something really good for you because it doesn't matter what is your talent. Art maker or street performer, if you know these rules, your life is gonna be perfect. Today is 25th of April, and today I made you only for you guys the best survival guide you ever saw in your life about surviving only from basking, no matter if you play an instrument or if it's dancing or if it's whatever you do, if it's art, if you sell paintings, no matter what this video is for you. Sometimes it's not so much easy to get the money that you need to push your project forward, to record, to pay for the things that the band needs, for new equipment and so on etc. So sometimes you're in situations that you just need to find a job and sometimes you're in situation that you don't get the money that you need really from the job even though you're really working hard. So today guys I prepared you a really amazing best survival guide that I collected from all my experience of three years surviving in Berlin only with my bass guitar from winter to summer, snowy winter, minus four degrees, I'm gonna run you through everything I did to be here with you guys today and to be able to survive only from playing with my instruments. I want to tell you that this guide is not for only people that play, because in the street I, I have encountered people that sings, people that dance, people that... Every, anything you can imagine. And today I'm gonna to share with you all my secrets that I've collected. I would like to give it to everyone, so everyone will know that if ever they are in a situation that they don't get enough money for what they need to do, you can do this. What I'm gonna share with you guys today. Rule number one, number one, one, one. Don't do to others what you would not do to yourself. So that means that if you're encountering a place that you're really desiring to play in and there is other musician over there and you plan to play and you come and you see it's taken, don't disturb others to play. Don't put your ramp and start to play next to them or something like that. You have to respect other people. You just have to avoid uh, disturbing like you wouldn't want someone to just come and start playing while you give your street performance. Don't do the same to other people. Which brings me to another thing. Look for places that are quiet. Don't go and play next to roads, next to cars, traffic. If you see construction sites, some um, machinery and they like bumping and machines and tractors and you hear noises avoid that because then you get disfocused and you cannot really concentrate and people cannot really hear you good because other noise make your music volume go down for better money earnings so get away from noise this is another tip that you should know about another something you should be aware of it's not legal to play with an amplifier i play my own material i don't play covers so my set basically, you know, it's basically sometimes one hour tops, one hour plus if I'm feeling really creative in the same moment. Basically, it's not legal to play with an amplifier and if you feel more confident playing with a pyramid, go do that. But I highly recommend you to just be yourself and do whatever you can do to test what's going on. If anyone approaching you say, I'm sorry, no, I don't have permits and I go now and everything should be fine. There are some basic things that will definitely help you to survive. Definitely if you're in a situation that you decide to try to bask for your life instead to find a normal job. I want to tell you that definitely things that could help you with knowledge. For example, acoustics. If you know how acoustic works, the sound waves, it definitely could, uh, could help you a lot. Because, I want to show you this. You see this? This is not much, but this saved my life <laughs> and it should save yours also. This is a Roland Microcube Bass RX. It has the option of batteries, but we're not gonna speak only about the batteries because in fact my setup, I use a car battery into inverter and you see like a normal batteries you can put here six batteries basically it gives you electricity for like if you play non-stop but nobody play six hours non-stop I believe seven hours eight hours you are okay depending on what kind of batteries you use but this my friends is gold acoustics so like I mentioned for example if you play with this uh, small beast out in the open doors uh, you have to know a good tip it will sound louder when you position your amp not to the open space opposite if you stand behind the wall 
better like that okay position the amp in a position in this way the sound from the amp hits the wall the sound and the music gonna go back with full force but if you are not gonna follow me and try this way it will also go through but the thing is because there is open space the sound will just sp spread away and the volume will be weaker if you put your volume too much you're gonna make people not enjoy your music so this is bring me to another thing always care about your surroundings and people that work in this area don't ever go play in the door of a shop for example <laughs> unless you're brave like me one time I tried that and it didn't went good the some people are okay actually the owner of shops few of them came to me and put money in my case uh, bought a CD things like this conversation put beer drink give food donation but definitely definitely try to avoid that because sometimes people are not encouraging uh, art, uh, are not supporting arts. Another thing that I want to tell you, always be prepared. That means that one time I've been in a situation that I, you know, sometimes when you only bask every day, you wake up early. Some musicians are really lazy and they sleep the whole day and they come around 3, 4, but most of the people are in the morning. Always know that people are going to work in the morning, people coming back from work, you have the time that people coming out from break from work. Know your times, like come early, you get more money, come late, you get less money, unless you have no plans later for the evening, but you have to always think that people are sleeping, coming back from work, and they want quiet. Imagine something, someone gonna play out outside of your window. You're gonna be pissed off, especially if you came back from work and have a long day. So don't ever play after let's say nine unless you are playing in an area that nobody lives my next tip is all about events always check the calendar open Facebook check out what's going on today events many situation I've been in that I always looked uh, who's coming to my area and I saw you too where they play okay probably gonna be there a lot of people so I went there put my amp on the way that people crossing another thing that I want to tell you always check for ways that people are like sheep I'm sorry to say this to tell this but sometimes people are following in patterns and you see that they are moving through somewhere don't ever play far away from that you need to see to recognize every pattern of people walking and know where they walk where they're passing where the most people are moving in don't go and play far away you need to be in the middle of this a way that they are crossing and they need to see you they need to hear you if you play far away from that you get less money you can still attract attention but always check the area that you're playing check if there is enough people next topic volumes always watch your volumes volumes are really important because you don't want to disturb of people especially in the summer when you're playing outside my setup I was actually one of the loudest in the street just make sure that you are not too much loud for other people to complain basically disturb your playing if you see other people playing then you know you can talk with them and ask them but most of the times when you see someone play he tells you that he's gonna finish like in two hours or he plan to play the whole day and uh, maybe you will wait a little bit but I wanna tell you that waiting is not good for you especially when you are like I said there is times in the day the people that coming from work the people that going so don't waste the day because the time is money in this case uh, the guys say one hour Think in this hour, don't wait, don't sit and wait. Think in this hour, where can I play? Can I play there? Maybe I won't disturb him if I play there or move to a different station. Unless you have nothing to do and everything is easy and you can just simply wait an hour if this is what you prefer to do. But I highly recommend you, time is money. The more faster you have places to put your rig and start to play, you get the faster the money that you need to do. So don't wait for nobody. This is really important. In the winter time, uh, this means that you have to go underground. If you are going underground, don't take with you big equipment. Like you don't need mark bass to go play underground because underground have acoustics. With this baby, 
sounds incredibly loud, especially underground in a closed space in a room, because the sounds are inside a closed space. That means that the sound's gonna be louder, it's gonna resonate more, everybody in the station could hear you when you go and play in the underground station. So you can be really happy that even if you have smaller gear, sometimes it's better to play underground and not upstairs. But of course, summer is tourist and tourist is what you need, especially when you need them. Rely on the acoustics. Know the acoustics. Know how to use them to your advantage. If it's a small amp, go to a place where there is more walls behind you. Always make sure there is a wall behind you or some surface, some object that you can use for your acoustic. Especially outdoor, the same. Use them for your benefit. You can use them to increase your earning by a significant amount. Another thing that you should know that you should always make sure not to disturb nobody because don't go to the same place every day this is the most important things remember that every area you're going people are living people are going to their job a mom take her baby you know this is routine of people and imagine you just come there and put your stuff and start to make music some people could like that some people could hate that we was in situation we was in the street playing and suddenly a woman came to Ignacio and removed his headphones that he had with a click of the song and while we're playing live and there is people around us people are like you know putting money taking CDs and she suddenly come remove his headphones starting to scream on him in the ear next to everybody just because she felt it's loud so you have to respect people because if you respect people then you can get back to this place anytime so don't be too much loud over what you need to be in a volume volume <laughs> always that you can hear yourself understand what you're playing because if you understand what you're playing everybody understand what you're playing what you're doing what you're dancing it could be anything it doesn't have to be only for musicians make sure all your batteries are charged and ready for action because you always want to be ready so like i said if it's an amp with batteries get batteries if you have rechargeable batteries be responsible the night before go there and put them in the electricity and make sure they are ready to use in the morning if you have a car battery system of course always remember to put them correctly in the night before you're planning to go to play always look good carefully if it's dark with a flashlight take your time the cables you have black and you have red always put them in the right places you have the minus which is the black and plus which is the red if you put them outside in a different order you're gonna your system you're gonna burn down your batteries and this is the last thing you need in your life right now especially when you are depending on the money from this so make sure guys that you take your time and you see clearly where you put the cables and which one plus minus so your system will be ready to action in the next morning and for you to go and make all of the money that you need to make if it's rent if it's food if it's whatever for your purpose this is for you another subject that i would like to tell you guys water water is really important if you drink a lot you are playing amazing so you need to drink a lot because this is really important so carry with you at least two bottles because water can save your life not even by drinking them always look if you see a homeless guy especially when it's cold always respect the people around you everyone try to survive even people that are not playing are there because they try to make something and you should say hello I can I play here a little bit, offer him even I give you one euro or one dollar, whatever, wherever you're from. <laughs> and I believe you will be okay with that. But never come and just start to play without asking if it's okay, because maybe the person would not like that. Another topic, make a CD. If you're a musician or playing an instrument, even if it's just bucket drummers. By the way, I want to say that bucket drummers make the most money. Um, a bucket drummer that a few basically three four that I know all of them make hundred euro for a day for just a session with sticks and buckets so if you are drummers bucket drumming street drumming is definitely something you should try because it can generate hundred euro from four different sources of four different street drummer buskers that I know next subject equipment like I said I showed you my uh, small baby small baby guy the micro cube this is a great guy for basically bass but you can use those for any other instrument there are also other system of sound that you can get for yourself in all kinds of prices but 
more can help you to get the system that I have which is a car battery connected to an inverter. This inverter gives you the opportunity, it's basically invert electricity output of a car battery into electricity that you can basically use. And then you can connect to amps and other equipment that you desire or your music desire. What's important here is to be ready and to basically know your equipment, know what you're gonna bring, know what's taking you a lot of electricity, know what you really need, take what's necessary, don't carry with you loads of equipment unless it really can make significant change in earnings. Check everything before you take. Uh, the better sound you get, the more money you get. New strings are really important for guitar players. Change your string, guys. Uh, if your strings are old, that means that you're gonna sound not so much sharp and better to sound clear and strong and if you change your strings, definitely change the strings. It's really important. By the way, Warwick, if you see this, I'm buying your strings. This guy. And this is my wagon. We have here a bag that you need to because you need to put somewhere all the pedals and all the things inside and here like you see my pedal being through rough time in here I have of course protective from the rain like I mentioned before garbage bag and then you have here the wagon the amp is strapped to it with something that called ratchet in a different language but I'm not sure it's the right word in English but I'm sure you know how to find this guy and over here we have a box a wooden box there everything is inside protected over here we have the car battery like you see with the cable this is the black one and this is one is the red one like you see of course and here you have basically the option to plug electricity and this is for pedals and over down here, you have this guy over there, which is the inverter. It gives you the option to transform this electricity inside my big battery into output for normal electric devices like pedals and amplifiers. And it's very comfortable to use. Just make sure to use it correctly. Look how you see I mentioned sticky tape. It really can help you to make your because this wagon I bought it with air filled uh, wheels and this one is with different wheels that I custom made for myself because this one was only on air but they blow up so I got plastic ones and I had to break it to connect those because the other one blown away and imagine you have this car battery and everything is plugged and suddenly your air is blowing and your wheels is destroyed and then you are stuck in the middle of nowhere with all this equipment uh, so it's definitely useful sticky tape for this situation carry one with you all the time uh, let's see what I have in the pocket this is like the first aid kit for survivalists that you have to have like I mentioned sticky tape ropes you always have to have ropes for worst case scenarios something breaks down you're stuck in the middle of the way get this guy it will definitely help you multi-tool to overcome any problem that will come up no sticky tape it's a bit heavy it's not small but that's all you need the most easy thing that you always have a place to sit <laughs> even you go on transportation train and bus always people are sitting everywhere and some people are standing and then you can just come inside with your wagon and sit on top of it and you have a chair no matter where you go about inverters there are all kinds of inverters out there in the market i recommend you to get inverter sinus because inverter sinus in, uh, eliminates all kinds of noise with electricity i recommend you to get inverter sinus the normal one is more cheaper you can get it as well but there is some slightly electric noise background if you don't mind about that then definitely anything is all right uh, so last thing to add if you are using a car battery as, as a substitution for amplifier with batteries uh, you can plug basically any amplifier into it and you can use anything that you like uh, basically and you have electricity wherever you go charge your phone uh, pedals uh, all the things but you have to charge your car battery and for this you have this the guy that helps a lot, really recommend it. Uh, charger for car battery basically. Uh, 
uh, red and black you know connecting to the car battery and everything is all right overnight it takes usually a few hours to charge but this is definitely what you need when you are working on that uh, it's way more comfortable than uh, batteries for a normal amp because you can play with these guys at least 10 hours plus if not 20 and you can connect whatever you want yeah guys this is my rig you enjoyed and have a great evening if you guys have a wagon and you notice that your system are weak and about to break and your wheels are not strong uh, or gonna blow or whatever because the wheels are not strong always carry with you this guy this guy is already finished but you can imagine what i mean if you get that that could save your life uh, sticky tape you can just whatever you need to do just open that and stick between two things that are not supposed to be stuck together for example i've been in a situation that the wheel suddenly broke off and I'm in a place that I'm, there is nothing, there is nobody, there is no public and now if you're stuck with your heavy amp in the middle of the road you really don't want that to happen because then you have to drag your amp that the wagon is broken and you need to carry all of your stuff back to home and it's not fun uh, so this guy if you carry one even a bit bigger because this one is quite uh, feminine <laughs> you need the, the his uh, manly version the fatter one and then if anything breaks in your system you can just simply oh hello stick between those two parts together and we could save your life definitely if something is broken check your cables that everything is functioning and working is in good sounds because better sound is better money for you try to carry not much guys ladies and gentlemen carry less as possible take only what you really need what is essential always make sure that you have food because this is another subject that we now that we are meow need to speak about food energy every time you play you lose your energy guys and ladies and gentlemen you need to carry enough food that your energy will always maintain high level of productions because if you produce good notes fast notes when your system and your brain are running on food so carry food snacks whatever cornflakes cereal sandwich make yourself food if you know you have a long day that you need to go and play eat something when you feel weak you play a set eat something it can restore your energy and give you more power to play the things that you need to play next topic sell something because if you sell something your money gonna come into your hands faster than you can imagine if you don't have money for studio simply this is your studio audio recorder if it start to bang around what you do and burn it into a CD and make the CD nice and even you know where I'm gonna make a CD now you know it's money and stuff this is a solution small investment but really I tell you since I made CD two years ago street demo was the best decision I ever made in my life just open look a paper print something make a nice design get a CD burn them burn the songs inside burn all your ideas or your creativity if you have high quality definitely you should pay for that and make something even more professional but I highly recommend it if you don't have money take paper go to a printing shop make a design to fit exactly the center of the paper okay this is a trick that I've learned from someone that I met that really really helped me so follow me here take a paper make a nice design in the front and make sure Facebook YouTube things like this take a CD burn your material inside put it in the center of the paper like that then afterwards you just close the sides another side and then these two guys are going inside each other look so this is a CD okay like I said before I'm a pretty modest guy to be honest I even tried one time out of curiosity a tenor on a CD but in the street they are, will go way more faster if you put them on five if you do decide to actually buy a professional CD without cover like uh, this guy hung from UK they highly recommended from you guys to you you should definitely check them they have uh, one instrumental album which is this one and by the way there are limited amounts out there so 
Better hurry up, cause this band are not existed anymore, unfortunately they broke up and they have some limited amounts of CDs that I got myself cause they are amazing. Hung UK, check them out, highly recommended by me to you, check them out. So get yourself a CD, record yourself, your material, make it organized in a nice way, try to sell. Put a CD, why not? People are gonna come, gonna ask, do you have a CD? What, you gonna tell them no? Of course not. You're gonna make yourself a CD so you can just... Simply put it there. Next thing that I want to talk to you about is a sign. If you don't write a sign, nobody can follow who you are, what you do. Write down even, for example, I want to show you that is made from nougat, uh, nougat bites, okay? I just simply took a carton because paper is more, you know, with the wind and stuff. You take a sign, right, you only the buses, YouTube and Facebook, CD equals five don't write cd for five euro because basically it's not so much allowed to sell things in the street without permission so to avoid problems you can simply just write cd equals five and people know it's cost five euro and then you telling them basically that your name is yoni and you tell them that they have more things in YouTube and of course in Facebook they should definitely check out. Another topic that I want to speak with you guys is what to do when encountering a law enforcement. Let's say you are playing and suddenly come to your police or other inspector, whatever guy, lieutenant, parking guy that come to you to say something about the fact that you are playing. Sometimes these people are just patrolling the streets and they don't necessarily come because someone complained. But in most cases someone's complaining so you have to go away because they dial these guys to come and tell you okay you have to so when they do don't ever come to them with an attitude just always be nice and kind because if you come to them and start to make an argument that you are an artist and you want to play here and you need the money to survive they don't care they want simply to resolve the problem so you have to listen to them this is a highly tip that follow always listen always say okay we are sorry we are not from here no problem we go and this is the thing that you say i'm sorry i'm not from here we are going this is always your reply never try to play around and wait until they go because then you will encounter a situation that they will be allowed to take your equipment and as a busker you don't really want that especially when the equipment that you have is the only thing that can generate you money in some cases you don't want that to happen so avoid arguments with law enforcement always be nice always be friendly always be polite and always say I'm not from here thank you bye we're going and everything should be all right and some places in the underground especially in the winter time you have to go and actually pay a fee to play in some station I don't so much recommend you guys to do that because like I said there are times in the day there are the morning there are the afternoon and there are the evenings and in some station there are more traffic and some station in some certain hours there are less traffic so let's say a station could have traffic of people moving by just for two hours and then it's dead and then you paid for the whole day a permission and then you're stuck in the permission with a place that only one hour people are going by and moving there so it's not a good idea to pay of course if you have a long set a station that you saw that you're interested you're welcome to try but from a pirate survivor to another you don't have to pay nothing just go and play if they come I'm sorry I'm going don't try to mess around there is no other way they will tell you to go anyway and never listen to them they will always tell you go play outside it's free if it's cold you don't really want to do that don't listen to them move to the next station just look where they go continue other direction and you're safe to go and sometimes there are special lines in the train that they are patrolling all the time so you have to check out what time they came and know that around this time people that patrols arriving to this station and you will know that the security or whatever they are that coming to you in the underground you will know that in this time they came to me so in this time I should avoid to be there in this moment because they are just coming to check what's going on and they go away and if you pay should be no problem of course they will tell you to stay they will ask to see your permission paper and then leave you alone but for a guy like me that just uh, play instrumental bass and not covers original material 
it's not uh, recommended to play the whole day in one station, move around, give a set here, one hour, next hour move to the next station, and so on. Don't be stuck in one place, always check out all the options, all the possibilities, always keep an open mind, always be careful, always make sure your stuff, your equipment is safe. Always look if people come into your case to take your money. Some areas that you will choose to play will have people that are, what can you do, survivalists, they want to survive and when they have no option and they see that they have option to grab a coin, they will. So be careful always when you finish to play. Don't show everybody how much money you get. Close everything. Don't count money in a public place. Go it's for yourself, you know hide that earnings you don't need to show everybody that you got a lot of money and uh, this is a perfect tip that i want to share with you guys always hide and put your cash and equipment in a reach that you know where the where it is and it's safe and everything is all right this is also can save you another tip that i can tell you if you carry an amp the best thing to do is put it into a wagon into a trolley because it, when you tie it into a trolley with a cable or with something and it's in a trolley it's heavy nobody will take it and just run away for example because it's chained into a trolley like my system I highly recommend you to put your amplifier or whatever tied into a wagon because nobody can steal a wagon wagon is more heavy than just an amp lying on the ground which anybody can just sh and then by by amp if you are carrying your strings with you I highly recommend highly so much highly you have no idea put them in a plastic bag you have no idea how much it's gonna help because if it's raining it goes through your case it starts to get rusted and you really don't want that uh, you don't want to get your strings rusted especially when you play bass because bass strings cost not cheap it's not cheap to be a bass player I tell you that now so by the way subscribe the button because this will help a lot subscribe and like and share this so everybody could see this when it's summertime highly recommend you guys to check basically where are the tourist attractions get some kind of flyer of tourists or grab a tourist and ask him dude what is your plans <laughs> so you will know exactly what is the route because in your country there is a route of tourists that they come to visit and they see places and take photos and buy things and take I love my country you know and they, they they go away to their country and anyway you need to find out what their roots are because if you know where they go then that means that everybody go after them so you need to know that because it will definitely help you so like I said check events open every day the calendar Google check who is playing live uh, if they are big go because they have a big audience check what the attraction uh, if there are street events open air festival around you whatever is big and you know that they're gonna be people there go for it the next topic is prepare your set know what you're doing there are a couple of uh, different musicians out there some musicians are more improvising and making a jam session but even if you do make a jam session make sure you have a basic structure of your show that you know what's going on where you're gonna stop when you're gonna play when you're gonna you have to know you have to prepare a show I recommend you to practice a bit before and to understand basically what you're gonna play out in front of people, public, kids, old people, young people, adults, dogs, cats, everybody. So it will be better and of course you will get even more money if you know what you're doing. Because if you know what you're doing or what you're gonna do, it definitely can look like more professional because you are more organized because you came ready. So prepare your beats, prepare your everything that you use. If you use drum tracks, backing tracks, anything like that, just go for it. Just prepare it, make it ready and you can get it done. Personally, I tell you that when I went out there I didn't thought about live show vibe, I thought about more like rehearsal, just instead of my room on this chair in open space to people. And when I thought about this, if you look at my, my old videos, you see me with a hat, I even I covered my eyes because I was so shy. Um, to be honest with you, I'm so modest. The, to play with next to people really like I was stressed, especially with people that came with cameras. Suddenly, I had my eyes. Just focus on what you do. Don't look at people. Don't look at their eyes. 
because uh, you scare them too. Make people feel comfortable around you. Dress really nice, smell good, make a shower, look at your best, because if you look good, people will give you more money. Also, uh, just don't look too much good, of course. Don't come there with a suit or a tuxedo unless uh, you really want to. It's your... I saw many people play with masks, some people play even naked. Whatever, do your thing as long as it's entertaining and positive and doesn't hurt nobody. I want to tell you about the thermal clothes. For example, if you have been in a situation, it's winter and you need to survive and it's freaking cold. Well, I tell you guys, don't ever go to play in temperature degrees that cold that's close to minus or zero. And if you do, it will be extremely difficult for you because muscles doesn't work and doesn't move good in the cold. This is a fact and you should know about this because I've been in there and I've been in a situation that I put layers of clothes talking with you about seven shirts, two pants, two socks, gloves, nothing work, your finger doesn't move in the cold. So guys, get this, I have an armor, you need a bassist, Thermal suit custom made for me, I have pants. This is, doesn't look much, but with these guys, with these pants and this armor, I'm able to play in minus four, even minus five in Christmas market. I've been there in the snow, everything is white around me, and I'm standing there just with this baby, maybe a jahudi, jacket, jacket, jahudi, maybe jahudi, and these guys, and like summer, like you can control it. It's, of course, everything is cold outside, but inside the core is warm, and these guys are really keeping warm and keeping your core warm. And as much hot that you feel in the freezing temperature, the more better you move, the more better you play, the faster you play, the faster you can play. And so, if you ever go to play in winter time, these guys can really save your life and can make a big significant change in earnings. Always carry with you a protection, garbage bags, I'm talking with you, anything that you can imagine. Always cover your electricity gear because amplifier are not aquatic and what, can, what we can do, this is life and we need to accept that. Uh, so carry with you garbage bags, cover your equipment from other people to see also. You don't wanna go around with a dangerous neighborhood with expensive amplifier that everybody can see and put it their eyes on and plant things on you. You don't really want that, so always hide your equipment, put some, put on top of it something, so you know nobody, do a favor to yourself. What I wanna speak with you about is teamwork. Sometimes you're encountering people around your travels that you are encountering them between stations. Sometimes you meet an artist that play an instrument. Sometimes you meet a violinist. Sometimes you meet a piano player. You can meet a saxophone player, a singer, who knows? Maybe if you go to another area, you will meet a new guy. You can never know. Sometimes teamwork can definitely work and bring you a lot of money faster than usual. So if you're encountering a drummer or saxophone or always you have the option of test the option of playing together because sometimes double the power double sugar you should definitely definitely check the option of cooperating with other musicians when you are encountering them outside i highly recommend you not to waste your time on that because like we said time is money Give it 10 minutes, 15 minutes, try. If you see people are coming close and putting money, then you know for sure this is a right thing. But if you see that you're playing and people are just passing by and no honey in the bunny, then you need to understand that sometimes it doesn't work. I wish this tutorial helped you all and I wish those tips gonna give you the money that you need to survive. I wish you all good luck. No matter what you do, no matter what art that you do, be strong, lift your head up, and be and stay confident. If you're not gonna do it, nobody will do it for you. So stay strong and support, subscribe. Videos like this are not so much easy to make. If you can support and press the button down there, that would definitely help a lot to make me more inspiration, to give you more, and give me more fire, to give you more, give you more videos like that. 
I'm preparing for you actually guys a couple of series of more videos with things that will definitely help you but for now let's start with this one and we see what's going on next if you ever have something that you would like to see a video about just hit me up in the comments downstairs and write exactly what would you like to know about and what would you like to see a video of and I will make sure to look at every comments you guys write and to make a video according to that so hit me up share love support check the Facebook page I'm here for you guys let's start